<laughs> Let's go. Welcome back, everybody. I'm Trey Herrera for those who are new. What are we doing right now? It's, right now, we are heading over to Eric's house. I know you guys haven't seen him in a while. We're going to do some logs in his G8. So, um, last time, I believe, we had Eric on the channel. Uh, he had a LSA GTO. GTO. <laughs> a LSA G8. And uh, he went the turbo route, like much of us do. Um, we're going to get some logs in and uh, hopefully get some boost hits today. The reason why he switched up the setup was he had an injector stick on the LSA, ended up blowing the motor, unfortunately. So um, instead of replacing the LSA, what he did was he went single turbo um, and a uh, 5.3. So uh, refresh 5.3, single turbo, it makes some jam. Uh, so it should should be a, a good time today for sure. Uh, just gonna get some logs in and uh, just get some seat time. What's up, Eric? I can't find the, the hose. That's why it sucks. <laughs> Whatever it takes, right? exhaust leak we're gonna take it for a rip we'll get a log in it he hardly drives his car now so I like to tease him about it you almost ready yeah I'm trying to. <laughs> you have all your channels set up think so There's a couple things going on. Uh, he had changed up the wastegate, the wastegate vacuum routings, routing, routing. Um, so he's gonna he's gonna mess with that real quick. But we also have a uh, the IAT sensor doesn't seem to be working properly as well. So um, see what's going on there. Help me buy twins and you can have mine. <laughs> everything it needs just uh yeah we don't we don't want to blow anything up we like keeping our engines together all right so <laughs> yeah full pretty much full boost right before he let off uh 1368 on the afr which is terrible so glad glad you let off glad it's still holding together we don't want any issues The good thing is your E85 content is 76%, so you got a lot of knock resistance right now. I think the biggest concern would be your IAT sensor. What's IAT show now, huh? I'm not reading it right now. I'm just looking over the, the log real quick. No, I mean in the log at the top, right? Well, it was 
was spiking. You went up to 70 and back down to 40. And right, right when you're full boost, it says 50, even though it's, I'm sure it's warmer than that. Yeah, so I think you need an IAT sensor and then that will probably fix, fix a little bit. We're gonna grab this, uh, I'm gonna get my extra wideband sensor, see if, make sure that's not the reason. Um, also, what math do you have on there? Eric, does it have the IT, the math? Yeah, it's built too. Okay, I was gonna see if maybe my math would work, but I don't know if it's the same plug or not. Probably not. I had extra math for you. Uh, 58 or so. It's 60 right there. Yeah. All right, so we threw my wideband in here, um, and then now we just hardwired the fuel pump real quick. His, uh, he has an auxiliary fuel pump, so we're gonna go and give this a test. one of these four posts of my own <laughs> all right we have some blow by going on on this this car so we're trying to see if uh, it's coming from the valve covers or if it's coming from the actual oil feed and drain 